Moving further to the south of England, I ride through white fields and picturesque old towns, among which Lincoln is especially beautiful. Johnny Minor, you were born, there to see the rising dawn, now it's time that you Turned black and faces pale Now your body's up for sale Farewell, Johnny Miner Farewell, Durham, Yorkshire do Nothing in this hate to you And one evening I was lucky enough to get to the house of real English farmers when I was looking for another place to camp among the endless fields. First, I met Henry. However, it was not easy for me to understand his local dialect. This is this some farm or what? Yes, we've got a farm which is down small about a mile away. So it's only small, about 600 acre. All right, and you live here uh, like um, constantly? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, our house. You can stay anywhere you like, sir. Anywhere? Yeah, yeah there's grass. You can stop anywhere. You've got a big paddock round here if you want to stop in that. Hello, pig. What's your name? Bo Talk. Bo Talk. Come on, Bo. Come on, Bo. Come on. Come on, look. Come on, Piggy. Come on, Piggy. There you go. <laughs> wow. So funny. Then the head of the family, Terry, told me about his typical day on the farm. So tomorrow I will get up and look at the cows and make sure everything's happy. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll, we'll have some work to do on the land um, to cultivate, the, 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 cultivate some fields. On the tractor. On the tractor, mm -hmm. yeah. As, as well as I also have some guys making machinery. Um, so I, I manufacture machinery too, so we'll, we, well, I need to make sure they're all right. Mm -hmm. um, I, I guess I'm just a busy guy. But uh, yeah. at, at what time you start? I will, I will start at half past six. Or, and what or, time you finish your work? I'll finish my work at, well, what time was it tonight, Henry? Was it uh, nine, uh, eight. Yeah, eight, eight nine o'clock at night. Oh my God. So yeah, big days. <laughs> yeah, you work like a, a whole day. Yeah. Long uh, day. And every day as well, mostly. Oh yeah. my God. But, uh, I, I enjoy my work. I, I like my work, so mm -hmm. I, you know. So this is your family, right? Yeah, that's granddad. That's me. That's mum. That's, um, that's my youngest sister. That's dad over there. Um, that's me, Grandma Elaine. That's Emily. That's my other sister, and that's Doris, which is <coughs> my so oldest sister. All of you are living here. Right? Um, yeah, all of us are living here. So obviously Isabella's not working yet because she's she's only six. Mm -hmm. um, Emily's big into her horses. She's got three three horses. Yeah, the, the ponies are across the fair. If you want to look at the ponies yeah, in yeah. the morning. In the morning, Henry showed me their farm closer. Olive tree. How old is it? 250 years old. 250? Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. And we started with Emily's horses. Hi. Hello. You're right. Yeah. Pablo. Pablo. Hi, Pablo. Hi. So is he a real pony, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. He's a Shetland cross Fala Bala. Yeah. 
Yeah, she had it on last night because it was a bit chilly. But... So you cover um, horses for the night, right? Yeah, yeah, if only if it's cold. If it's warm, then they don't need one. All right. It turned out that Emily does not just take care of horses. They are her great love, and horse riding is her greatest passion in life. She successfully participated in competitions many times. Oh. These are a few of them. But I've got a lot more. Really? Yeah. Great. First, first champion. Yeah. Now I will go with Henry in his farm all terrain vehicle to their cows. It's a mile or two from here. If you under your window, look, so you can say hello. Uh. They look quite surprised that we came. Yeah, don't normally come this late. Oh my gosh. Here is one big field, there is another big field and a few more large fields further on. All these farmlands belong to the Henry's family. Although Terry told me yesterday that they have a relatively small farm, but as for me, it is still impressive. It takes quite a long time to go around their entire territory. I ask Henry, is this yours? He says, yes, it's ours. And is this yours too? Yes, it's ours too. Oh, oh, you got it, well. Take it. It's a grass. Can you imagine they don't want to eat from my hand? Only from Henry's. Terry, you, just over there, like, he buys steel plates in and bits of box, like, he cuts it all up and profile cuts it and makes it into bits and welds it up and puts bolts in it and it ends up like that. So he, he makes uh, things like that, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's how pretty much everything comes in, like, and it's still fly. This one here, look, it's an automatic one. We well, see where it's been cooking, look, it cuts bits out of here we make agricultural machines um, and we make them um, we send them all, all over all over Europe we've got some machines in Romania and Estonia and um, we've got some machines in New Zealand we've got machines all over It's raining outside, although it is a light rain. It started at night and 
continues until now with short pauses. The weather forecast shows that it will be like this almost all day, but I have to somehow move on. So now I'll pack all the things inside the tent, then I quickly jump outside and pack the tent. So, I guess there will be some wet adventures today. Another evening I got to John Stevens' house in the outskirts of London, where I had a comfortable rest. I can show it to you, yeah. I, but this one, I, 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 now I'm lazy, I have a motor on this one. This elderly man is a true bicycle fanatic, he has several at home and has traveled on them all his life. So yeah, this is a Brompton, I've had this for 25 years, but um, Recently I put a motor on it because there's some very steep hills and if I'm coming back from orchestra late at night, yeah. um, I'm too lazy to do a lot of cycling at half ten at night. Initially, it's got a lot of power and then you can turn up this, the energy or turn down how much assistance you want. You can get on and I can take a picture of you cycling. Wow, that's cool. Now I'm going to try riding a Brompton for the first time. It's the famous and very popular folding bike. I've never tried it before, but I know a lot of people love them. And some even use it for, for touring. All right. I will try not to fall. <laughs> So that's the Surly, and this one is a, a, a bike called the Dawes Galaxy. It's very old, maybe 20 Cla years old. Classic city bike. Well, mm. it's a touring bike, I think, but it has been, it's been modified. This <coughs> is one I used for many years, um, and it has hub brakes. And this is the bike I normally use. So right. you are cycling and touring mostly on this, right? No, 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 I have a touring bike. You have another? I have a touring bike. So how many do you have in total? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I have a unicycle with one wheel. Really? <laughs> and you use it? <laughs> no, I'm for what? falling off. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I have, and we've got the tandems. We have two tandems, yeah. Uh, one, one before we got married, and now we got another one. Yeah. Wow. I'm crazy, crazy guy. But most people are cyclists. So you have to be a little bit crazy, I think, to ride yeah. a bicycle. That's true. <laughs> Bye-bye. 
in noisy London. I rode it leisurely through the center and left it in a couple of hours. Oh, she dressed in the dark And she whispered, oh man She was pretty in pink like a young girl again Canterbury, I stayed for two days with my new friend Andy. My messy kitchen. Oh my god, I'm not up to standard. <laughs> what are you cooking tonight, Andy? We, well, I've already cooked most of it. So, dun dun dun, steak, dun dun dun. All right. Chicken strips, rice, peppers, salsa, guacamole, salad, oh my bread god. wine, and Cameron helped chop the tomatoes. Yeah, I'm you will be on YouTube, you know? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> this is the same Andy who wrote to me a few weeks ago. Mate, you can stop and rest at my place in Canterbury before you cross to France. So Andy's house was the first planned stop on my route that I knew about even before I started. Yeah, bon appétit! So we start having dinner. Sorry guys, I forgot your names. Could you please repeat? Uh, Sebastian. Sebastian and... Uh, Cameron. Cameron. And this is Andy. Hi. <laughs> turn, and you turn, and you turn, and bon appétit. Yeah. Show you some famous landmarks. Oh, good. This house is very lean due to old age. It's a little scary to walk near it. But Andy assured me it wouldn't fall. At least not today. It's called the Crooked House. It used to be the old school shop for the school uniforms for the school opposite. So I bought my school uniform here in 1986, a long time ago. Here is another old house. It is 600 years old, and the previous one is 500. Hello, easy. Okay, 
So is Canterbury a really touristic place? Yeah, definitely. If you're a tour group from, let's say, Germany or France or Spain and you're coming by coach, of course all the kids want to go to London. Yeah. And between London and Dover, bing! <laughs> Canterbury. So it makes a very uh, easy stop, right? Yeah. You can leave Amsterdam or Paris and for the first night you can stay here and spend the day uh, looking around, practicing your English, seeing the cathedral. Yeah. And so I think it's one of the most top 10 most visited places in the UK, but yeah. since COVID maybe it's all changed, I'm not sure. What do we have here? The Canterbury Bike Project. This is a training center for bicycle repairs for uh, young people to learn the skills and then start working and the locals in Canterbury can come here and uh, the students can work on their bikes and you just pay for the parts, they get the experience, you get your bike fixed. So it's a kind of win-win. So it turns 50 percent. It should run a bit better now. It's a good luck gift to you. Oh my god, journey. thank you so much. That's right, no worries. Thank at you. All. You really I'm helped me. Ah, that's all right, man. I'm, I'm very jealous of your... Sorry, I forgot your name. Uh, Steve. Steve. No worries, man. Thank you very Pleasure. much. Enjoy. Today I have to ride the last 30 kilometers in England to catch the ferry to the next country on my route, France. However, this final stretch turned out to be quite difficult. I hope France doesn't have a rule like Australia, where when you enter the country you are forced to wash the wheels of your bike if there is a dirt from another country on them. Gosh, where did I go? I chose a not very good route. When I realized this, I had to overcome it in a hurry and nervously for fear of being late for an already booked ferry. Damn, that's a terrible route. I finally arrived at customs on time. Very strong wind. I have to wait another half an hour here, in line at the ferry with cars and buses. It just knocks you off your feet. So I kind of hid between the buses. And the ferry is over there. It's time to have dinner. Food from Morrison's, tea from Andy, 
And now I might be doing something wrong. Andy warned me that it is illegal to bring anything meat into France. Sausages, salami, for example. But I forgot about that and bought at the supermarket. Guess what? Salami. So I only have time until I arrive to eat it. I believe I won't be doing anything illegal if I eat it before arriving. After all, what's in the stomach doesn't count, right? Andy assured me that this rule really works. For example, even sausage sandwiches are confiscated from truck drivers upon entering France. Can you imagine? Followed by one long glass on the ship's whistle. And followed by a similar